Hello. Let's talk about Invenvax measles, which is a DNA vaccine. And what is unique about that? DNA vaccines stimulate immunity regardless of antibody levels against the vaccine. Antibodies from the mother will stay with her infant for the first year or so. And DNA vaccines are the only way to vaccinate infants because mother's antibodies will destroy other vaccination attempts. When an infection happens, we have general immunity that defends against most things, most of the time. We also have adaptive immunity that attacks and destroys diseases like measles. Adaptive immunity is specific to each disease. Vaccination is adaptive immunity. Vaccination is antibodies and T-cells. So what does vaccination do? Vaccination gives two types of immunity. It gives antibody immunity, which is antibodies that attach to invading virus so that other parts of the immune system will destroy the virus. And there is cellular immunity. T cells are like Pac-Man, killing infected cells in your body to get rid of all virus. Antibodies look like a Y. The top of the Y attaches to the viruses. The tail of the Y is a handle that the immune system uses to grab onto. Antibodies are like tiny tools that let the immune system latch on to bad things. Antibodies are specific. An antibody will only attach to the virus that it is for. So measles antibodies will not do anything for any other disease. Measles virus looks like this. The measles virus is 14,000 times the size of an antibody. But it just takes one antibody and that's enough to tag the virus for destruction. Cellular immunity defeats viruses. You have infected cells, and you have viruses that are produced inside of cells. They have turned into churning little factories to produce more of themselves. T cells are covered with antibody-like molecules, and this allows the T cells to find and kill already infected cells. This is adaptive cellular immunity. DNA vaccines are good at cellular immunity. Infantvax measles is a DNA vaccine. T cells are specific, like antibodies are. A T cell for measles will not attack a cell infected with another virus. So are antibodies or T cells more important? In mice, when cellular, T-cell immunity was turned off, the infected mice died. Didn't matter how high antibodies were. The mice still died. These two systems normally work together, but cellular immunity is very important. It's true enough to be said that antibody immunity prevents infection by destroying viruses. Cellular immunity cures infection by destroying already infected cells that are churning out viruses into your body. DNA vaccines like infant vax measles give fair to good cellular immunity, although DNA vaccines don't give good antibody levels. DNA vaccines produce virus components so that the immune system makes both cellular and antibody immunity. So antibody levels will be low. But some immunity is better than no immunity, as we'll see on the next slide. The Infantvax measles system was tested in infant rhesus monkeys. All the infant monkeys were protected. About half got a mild illness when challenged with virus, but none became seriously ill. There were no adverse events. This provides the foundation for human clinical trials. So please, help us get FDA approval. Please donate to get infant vax measles into clinical trials.
Protect babies against the danger caused by those not vaccinated against measles. Give what you can. We thank you so much for your donation.